What's wrong with this pocket? No. To all my veteran brothers and sisters out there, thank you for your service. It was truly an honor and a privilege serving with you. For everybody else, I hope you got some lighting projects done this weekend. Hi, welcome to Canna Spader Christmas. This weekend I worked on one single project, didn't get it finished, but it was, I wasn't expecting to. It was a pretty big project. It was one of those that kind of had me worried a little bit. I didn't know if I was going to get done in time based on between now and the time I turn the lights on. Uh, but I got it in a pretty good place, so I feel a lot better. So let's take a look. Okay, this is the box that I had last year. It's got four of these power supplies, four 12 volt power supplies. I had a switch in here, uh, fuses for the outputs, and really just a jumble of wires. And I mean, it worked, it, it was fine. And it was a decent size. I had my controller over here, but remember I swapped out the V2 and I'm gonna put the V3 in here. And here's the new box. This is the top of the new box. So it's not, give me a little extra room to put things, a little more air in there so that it'll uh, keep things cool. I didn't have a problem last year. I just wanted to clean things up a little bit. So I got a little bit stronger box this year, a little bit bigger box this year. And it's, it's something you can get from your normal hardware store. I have a piece of MDF that is the base for these things. So I will mount all the electronics to this really can't pull it out because of these wires. So um, it just helps getting things mounted in there and gives it a solid base to sit on. I did cover it up this up with a uh, trash bag to keep the rain off. And I put, I can't remember what I put on the top of it um, to kind of make it sloped. You can make a cover for it a pat you know make it look like a christmas present or a dog house or something like that to keep the the what the rain off of it or snow basically moving all of the electronics that are in this box over to the new box uh rewiring a little bit maybe cleaning that up So I'm going with the same four power supplies that I had last year. Just reconfigured them a little bit. If I need to put more power in here, I can add another stack up here. I'm also adding another fuse block. These two I had last year, but I wasn't using them all. And, and then I'll come out with more power lines to these fuse blocks. I have my common here. So all the commons will come out of these. If I need to add another one, I can do that pretty easily. And then I will put the controller and any extra cards that I need down here. And I think all that will fit in the box pretty well.
I think I'm at a point where I can put this into the enclosure and start wiring up pigtails to get the data out of this box. Now the plan is, I think I can run my mega tree off of this power spring, barely see it, off of this lower left power supply uh, and that can supply the whole thing. I'm going to run it at one third brightness. There's 1200 pixels so that should be 24 amps max. Now so I've got this bottom power supply also feeding the left side of the F16 V3. I've got this lower right power supply feeding the right side of the F16 V3 and it's also providing the power for the board and the expansion board. The plan is to use this set of fuses for power injection for the mega tree. I will come out of here with four, using four of these ports for the mega tree. So I've got 1200 pixels. I'll cut them into 300 pixel links. It just makes it a little easier to do it that way. I could run 600. Now, I know some of you are asking yourselves, do I have to go through all this stuff just to set up some lights? No, I'm doing this just purely for convenience for me. My first year, I used a bunch of these little CG1500 boxes and it works just fine. It's just that I'm at a point now where I can consolidate a lot of stuff into this one box and it just makes it easier for me. Let's talk a little bit about wiring. So if you have a single pigtail, that is coming out of a box, probably not an issue. If you have something like this coming out of a box, you have no idea which one of these goes to what. So we use something called wire markers. Now you can purchase wire markers from the electronic store as numbers. Then they're sticky, so you just, you just wrap them around here. What I've found is after I don't know how much time the stickiness wears off and then the numbers just come off. So what I do is, well, what I started doing was starting putting the numbers on there and then putting a piece of heat shrink on top of it. So that would hold it down. And then I thought, well, why am I even buying these things if they're not going to stick? I'll just print my own up. So this is for my mega tree. It's tree 01 and it's going to be port 01. And then, so I'm going to do 300 nodes, and then we'll go to tree 0104, and on and on and on. So I'll just wrap this around here, put some heat shrink on it. And I'll be able to identify what it is if I have something like this staring at me in the face. This is probably as far as I will get this weekend. So I've got these four cables for the tree and they have pretty long extensions on them. Um, I'm going to need to do a lot of power injection, but I don't have the cable for that yet. So this part is not complete. These are for the other props, uh, the arches, the door, the two wreaths and so let me show you what's inside so as you can hear i have one power supply that is making a lot of noise even though there's really no load on this thing so that will be a good candidate to change out next year so we have the four power supplies they are powered up that's my ethernet cable coming into the controller i'll have to deal with that later and dealing with it just means i'm not exactly sure yet how i'm going to get that wire to come through the wall of the box uh, I do have a few of these cable glands. This is a 24 millimeter version. Uh, it will hold four, four wire cables in it. Um, it it's not watertight because can, I can see through it, but it does hold them and then you can screw this down and it kind of clamps down on them a little tighter. So it'll hold them in there and, and, and uh, you know keep them from sliding in and out. So that's mainly why I got them. 
I will put a link below in the description. Now this is an Amazon affiliate link. If you're not familiar with that program, basically you go, you click that link, you go buy it at Amazon. They will pay me a small percentage. These things aren't very expensive at all. So they don't charge you more. It's just that it's kind of like um, I'm, adverti <laughs> I'm advertising for them. So they'll give me a little money back. That's all that is. That's it. But it'll, it'll point you to these exact things. The other thing is I changed out the power supply that was making noise, uh, basically just had the fan going all the time for the Meanwell that I bought earlier in the year. So that'll quiet things down a little bit. And really that's about it. So I'm waiting on some cable to come in so that I can finish off the power injection cables for the Megatree. And I mentioned this briefly, but I basically got some 10 foot extension or 10 foot extension cables and cut the ends off of them so this will give me plenty of room around the mega tree so this box will sit inside the mega tree and then these pigtails will go to each of the 12 legs that I have they're actually split in two so it's 24 but uh, it's just 100 up and down so these will go um, out to each leg and then I will have the power injection wires coming out and they'll be the same length as these, so these will be sticking out quite a bit. The other ones I can just hook on uh, extensions to. I guess I could have done it with this too, but I had these and I didn't have enough small extensions, so that's why I did that. I hope you enjoyed the video. That's pretty much all I did this weekend, and, but it's good to get that out of the way. It was something that needed to happen. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them below. I will get to them. Other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon and all the dogs run. So many cars going back.